Hi there, Phyllis here. Um, just saw a video on the fire challenge and was rather shocked and went, oh my God, what the fuck are they doing now? And then it hit me, uh-oh, have they seen any of my work and any of my fire play? Here's me doing self-play and playing with others. Which I've done since the late 90s, um, usually privately in dungeons or swing clubs and um, just kind of concerned me. So I wanted to demo a safe way of playing so that you won't burn yourself primarily and talk about fire safety while we're doing it. So I brought out rubbing alcohol. This is 70%, a little strong, but 40% is 60% uh, water. So you're not going to set any fire that way. For the purposes of our demonstration, I'm just doing a Q-tip, which I am filled this little container with the rubbing alcohol, and I'm going to show you how to test how long you can endure fire. I'm not going to use a lighter because as I watched in the videos, kids are jumping in the shower and then getting your um, lighter wet and ruining your lighter, so there's no point in doing that. Use a candle and not carpet on solid floor, so if you spill anything, it won't set the carpet on fire. So the main thing to think about is that you have to prep three things. Prep the area you're going to work in, so if something does spill, the whole house doesn't catch on fire. Two, prep your body. Um, remove a lot of clothing from the area, because if your person jumps the body does respond with fear and so it'll jump and that flame will go jump with it. So uh, you want to keep your hair in particular pulled back and out of the way um, and doing, if you're going to do an hairy part of your body, it's, the hair is going to burn, it's going to go. So look for a stomach or a back to work on that's uh, clean and hair free. I'm going to use my hand and show you from here. Um, and third, uh, prep the stuff you're going to do. Have all the materials you need right in front of you so that you can grab them with one hand. Uh, this is uh, dangerous play. It is dangerous for a reason. That's why it's exciting. That's why you get the rush from it. But it's also um, a space, probably about three milliseconds, of where you can play with pleasure uh, just on the edge of before pain gets too intense, that's enjoyable, and which is why fire play became uh, a favorite of my play. So what you do is take your Q-tip, soak it in your alcohol. Uh, this happens to have a blue tinge to it. I'm going to put just a piece of it on my skin so it's wet. Grab a little more. And then with the same piece, I'm going to light it. And you probably can't see the flame, but I can feel the flame. But you can only, and with alcohol, it'll blow itself, it'll burn itself out quickly. Um, by rubbing it on the skin first, I'm putting a palette of alcohol on my skin, and wherever the alcohol is, the fire will go. Um, it burns out and usually will leave moisture on the skin and water on the skin and that's a good thing so that you don't burn up. If you have oils or lotions underneath um, or on your skin before you do this, clean them off. Um, when you're playing you want a clean surface. And did it burn for a little period of time? No, but it's still warm now and I feel that yes, I have burned my hand. There, there is sensation there, there's warmth there. Um, and uh, what the fun part about this is that now is when the endorphins are going to the skin to heal it and so it has that tingly and it kind of feels good and that's the, the fun part of the play but as a challenge just to show it on video yeah you're most likely going to do something stupid and burn yourself so dude if you're going there I don't know what to tell you um, I can tell you uh, Second and third degree burns are painful. I've done them. I've done them to myself. Um, I also enjoy fire because it was our first technology when we awakened again. And so with that, we've had to start over where it is mesmerizing when it's um, done right. It's a fascinating and amazingly sensual experience. 
So start with the Q-tip challenge if you must. Put some on your skin. See how many seconds you can actually leave it on your skin without going, oh shit. So start there. Play safe. See you next time.